first. We're back with Bishop David Kagan for our KX Conversation. Now, you met him um, subsequently after becoming bishop back in 2011. What was that experience like? It was wonderful. Uh, bishop Zipfel, God rest his soul, he was my predecessor here in Bismarck. Uh, when I actually took over as bishop in November of 2011, uh, the visit of the bishops to Rome to visit with the Holy Father and make a report on the status of their diocese as had already been scheduled for March of 2012. And so Bishop Zipfel and I went and um, the experience of, of meeting the Holy Father personally was, was just marvelous. He's a wonderful man. Uh, he speaks several languages, including English, very fluently. And the one thing that struck me uh, about Pope Benedict is when I uh, came up and introduced myself and I told him I'm the, the new bishop of the Diocese of Bismarck in North Dakota, being from Germany, he smiled and he said, ah, Bismarck, yes, I know of it. He says, you have oil. <laughs> and I, I was kind of surprised, but uh, he's very interested mm -hmm. in uh, the church, uh, the, uh, the Catholic people, and uh, we had a very nice conversation. He, you can't spend a long time. There were about 15 of us in the oh. group, so uh, just a, a brief conversation. But uh, he gives you his complete and undivided attention. And he, uh, when he asked a few questions about our diocese, and uh, it, I answered those, and he said, well, Your Excellency, uh, use well whatever you gain from your oil reserves, but use them well for the people of your diocese. How do you think Pope Benedict should be remembered? As a humble servant of the church, mm -hmm. which he was. You believe his legacy will not long be forgotten? Oh, no. I, I would not be surprised. I'm. I don't think I'll be alive when it happens, but I, I would not be surprised if Pope Benedict XVI is declared a doctor of the church. Which means? Which means that uh, from his preaching, his writings, his teachings, he has uh, further advanced the understanding and explanation of Catholic doctrine, Catholic belief in such a way that uh, it's more easily understood, more easily uh, accepted, and more easily put into practice. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure if that news breaks, we'll be here to talk about it. So, yes. <laughs> Bishop Kagan, thank you so much for your time and your insight. Well, thank you very much.